Okay, I know I'm late to the party on this one, but this movie is awesome. Okay, hi everyone, I am back. Uh, I'm finally feeling better. It took two full weeks. Uh, I still got some lingering COVID symptoms. For those who don't know, I, did, I caught the COVID uh, a couple weeks back and it just knocked my ass out. Um, so I couldn't really go anywhere, I couldn't really do anything. So uh, my already, I already fell behind before I caught COVID. And then of course, now there's two full weeks that have passed. I'm even more behind. So for the sake of just getting as much of this done as I possibly can, I'm just going to do a bunch of quick solo reviews just so I can say I got these done. Um, and then once things finally settle down and in the new year, we'll go back to our regular routine. But in the meantime, Violent Night. Mainly the reason I watched this is because it just went on v on um, rental uh, or like purchase. So I just bought it and was like, okay, I've heard good things about this. I want to watch it. So I'll, I'll watch it now. And uh, yeah, the hype is real. This movie is fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, for a movie that the pitch begins and ends with, what if Die Hard but Santa? It did not need to go this hard, and it didn't need to have stars that put this much of their A game in this fucking movie. Uh, like David Arbor, uh, David Arbor and John Leguizamo are giving it a hundred and ten percent through the entire film, and it's 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 so good. Um, and it under it, it it's so fascinating because this is a kind of a hodgepodge of a few different kind of movies, a uh, Die Hard esque movies, uh, and it wears the influences on its sleeve. It's not like it pretends it's anything. It's not. It knows exactly what it is. It knows exactly what its influences are, and it's having so much fun with the absurd brutality it gets away with. Um, there, there was one sequence in particular where there, it's like a Home Alone homage. Uh, and then, again, that's not really being subtle. Like, they straight up say, like, I'm going to make traps like Home Alone. And then they show what happens uh, when you actually do, like, Home Alone-esque pranks. And it's one of the most brutal sequences I've seen all year. Uh, and it, I laughed my ass off watching this. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing I liked about this, and I think one reason why it works, is it understands why di the original Die Hard works. The original Die Hard works not because um, not not because John McClane is this big badass and he's kicking everybody's ass and all stuff. It works because John McClane is kind of a loser who finds himself in a really shitty situation. He has no idea what he's doing. He is winning it, and he is panicking the entire time. Uh, David Arbor does a great job of capturing that same energy through the first half of the movie, um, and which makes all the fight scenes that play like that involve early on a lot of fun to watch. They make them really tense. The choreography is great. There's some really creative kills, uh, and and it works because it plays off that dynamic. And um, there, the, the plot of this movie, for those who don't know, is David Arbor plays Santa Claus, who in this stage of things is very cynical, very jaded. He thinks people have gotten too greedy. He really just, it's like he's done with the Santa Claus business. He, he kind of wants to get out. He just, he spends Christmas Eve drinking and barfing and pissing on the side of the sleigh um, until he gets to, I think what they call the Lighthouse family, which is this ultra rich, entitled family um, that is getting robbed by John Leguizamo's character who plays Mr. Sc character, he calls himself Mr. Scrooge. They have a bunch of money stashed away in a fancy vault, a la Die Hard. He's there to steal it and holds him hostage. Uh, meanwhile, the good person of the family, a little girl named Trudy, uh, is a diehard believer, no pun intended, a believer in Santa Claus and uh, in a way to make up for not, uh, and I guess, I guess his, his parents are getting like a divorced or something like that, um, and they're not, not doing very well, and the husband and the dad was supposed to take her to go to the mall to see Santa Claus, but they couldn't do that because he's working on the same with his rich mother, who is basically holds the purse strings in the entire family. Um, or are they divorced? I don't know. Either way, they're not doing very well. Um, and basically what it boils down to is, in 
as a way to make up for it, the dad gives her walkie-talkie and says, this is a walkie-talkie to Santa Claus. If you want to talk to Santa Claus, you get, like, you go through here. Yeah, like, you use this. So when Santa Claus goes to his house to deliver presents, do his Santa thing, and he kind of stumbles into this home invasion and uh, finds a walkie-talkie, and that's how he becomes communicating with Trudy, and that builds their whole dynamic, um, which is actually really sweet and a lot better written than it has any right to be. Uh, I really enjoyed that dynamic. There's one part in particular where uh, Trudy kind of helps her re helps him reconnect with his own purpose and his uh, re his own sense of self. And I legitimately kind of got choked up a little bit, um, mostly because I'm getting older. I'm a sucker for sentimentality these days. But uh, it just more like it it really was it mostly because of David Arbor it, Arbor just giving this so much effort to an extraordinary degree, and quite frankly, like he did not need to go this hard into this role, but he is having so much fun, and I love David Arbor for that, because I feel like no matter what he does, he just seems so enthusiastic about it. He just seems like he loves everything about what he's doing. Like, even when you're talk, well, talking about Black Widow, he sounds like he's having a ball through that, or uh, Stranger Things, he's having a ball through that. Even Hellboy, for all its flaws, he seemed like he was having a great time in that. And he just takes this wonderful childlike enthusiasm into this role, too. And uh, by the time he does get to the point where it beco he becomes the more, like, badass, kicking everyone's ass Santa Claus, it feels earned. It doesn't feel rushed. It feels like it is a completion of a character arc, and it makes sense. And it is rewarding and gratifying. And it, 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 this movie's so good, you guys. <laughs> like, I really did love every second of this oddball... Uh, action comedy and uh, I'm really glad I finally made the time to watch it uh, I'm sure most people have already seen it by now but if you need any more affirmation if you haven't seen it right now or you're just having a good time to go to theater like I have um, then I highly recommend it uh, this is probably my favorite films of the year which I feel like I've said about a lot which is gonna make the top 10 this year really difficult to actually sort uh, sort out but um, I'm excited to do so because like I said this has actually been a really good year uh, so, yeah, uh, I don't really want to say much else, I don't want to give too much spoilers away, I think this is one that you just go buy it, it's worth the money, uh, enjoy it, have a great time, watch it on Christmas, this will probably be a new a Christmas classic for me, um, that I'll double feature, I'll probably double feature with Die Hard this year, I cannot recommend this highly enough, if you're like me and, like, this is your shit, uh, th like, if, if the idea of die hard but with santa makes you go ooh then you're going to love this movie uh it pays that off in tenfold it is fantastic watch um and i'm going to watch it a bunch more times so yeah uh violent night great movie loved every second of it highly recommend um, so like I said, I'm mostly just going to try to get through as many movies as I can, especially if they've already come out on streaming, so I'm going to try to do Strange Magic later this week, I'm going to try to see what I can over the weekend, over Christmas, I guess, because I still got to see Avatar, uh, now that I'm not sick anymore, I don't have any excuse to put that off anymore, um, and then I know Puss and Butch just came out, so I got to make that for that, uh, and then I don't even know what else anymore, I'm, I'm going to do my best, that's all I can do, um, but, uh, yeah, we'll probably still be doing catch up well into January, so don't expect the top ten and worse for a while. Uh, in the meantime, um, I think it's all I got for this one, so thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next shorter review next time. Bye.